Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm just going to make a card. I'm going to have a lot of fun making it, just the old fashioned way with no fancy equipment and things like that. So, what I'm going to be using is Stampin' Up's Forever Fern. Love this stamp set. Um, I have the matching dies as well, but I'm just going to use the stamp set today. I'm going to use this beautiful stamp called Raven by Lavinia Stamps. This is a stamp that my friend got me earlier this year, and I absolutely love it. Thank you, Connie, if you're watching. Just beautiful. Now, I've just pulled out some colours that I would like. I'm kind of being inspired by this. Um, I, I love the colours there. It's got a pink, a bit of purple, a bit of, you know, yellow, green, things like that. So, um... These are the colours I've pulled out, but I will pick a dark green by the looks of it as well. Maybe some mowed lawn would look nice. I'll just bring that out uh, whilst I'm thinking of it because, um, yeah, I, have, I don't know. I'm just trying to pull a, a whole heap of different colours. So I'm just going to pull out some mowed lawn uh, or rustic wilderness actually will look better. Maybe some rustic wilderness. And I'll pre out the mode lawn as well. There's quite a few colours there, so I'll go through them now. And if there's any changes, I'll let you know. So basically the colours I'm using, mode lawn, rustic wilderness, black soot, fossilised amber, wilted violet, salty ocean, salvage patina, kitsch flamingo, hickory smoke and twisted citron. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> That's a lot of colours, but I want to see how that works out. I'm also using a homemade stencil that I made with my silhouette. Um, and that's just using the plastic dividers that you put in folders and it's nice and thin and it's easy to cut and it's quite sturdy so that's what I'll be using. I'm using Stampin' Up's Whisper White cardstock. This is the, sorry, basic white, thick and I've just scored in half, uh, cut in half, scored in half um, A4 size. This is now an A6 envelope, I mean sorry, card and then I've got a card front of Whisper White cardstock which is a quarter of an inch shorter than the card base so if you look at it like this that's how much I cut off on each side so yeah I think that's a little crooked yeah it is <laughs> I'll just get my guillotine and um, straighten that up looks a bit dodgy there or isn't it looks pretty straight to me yeah I don't know maybe it's just the way I did that so what I'll do is I'll put this to the side, the card base. I'm going to bring my stencil and it doesn't have to be precise but I want my moon kind of image to be here and I'm going to bring in my craft sheet and I'm just going to use one of my old makeup brushes which are still going strong and no issues with any of the bristles falling off so it was done very well um, actually what I might do is I'll start off with the fossilized amber and I'm going to position this to be like I think here so I'm just going to hold it in place and I'm going to just do a very light Color. A fossilized amber. It's a really pretty color. In fact, I don't even think that I will need <laughs> this um, this stencil in the end. So I'll just do a like a circle here in the middle oh doesn't that look pretty that looks so nice so I'm just going to always clean between colors so it may look like a dog's breakfast with it being all over the shop but I am sure it'll look nice in the end so I'm just going to add colours all around, randomly sort of thing. And yeah, so I'll go with blue, I'll go 
go a bit like that and then I'm just going to pop it in here, 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 here. I've got some in the middle there. Not happy about that but I may be able to go over the top there like that so I think it'll turn out okay. So I'll cover that mistake up. So I'm just going to put colours kind of like a, I don't know what you call it, like one of those northern lights sort of a deal card sort of thing but not really um, yeah so I'm just doing that and let's try some twisted citron just tap off a little just you know make it a little bit more subtle doesn't matter if the colors come a little strong here and there that's okay it's just for fun, you know. Get some mowed lawn. So as I said, I'm going to be inspired by this because I love the colours on that. It's just beautiful. So that's my interpretation of what it, that is. You can make it to be whatever you want it to be. I think that looks pretty.
Okay, so I think that is pretty close to that in terms of colours. If you have a look very closely, um, this is my interpretation of it, mind you. But I really love the way that looks. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. And then I'm going to do some water splatters on that. And then we'll do some stamping. Okay, that will do for now. Put this to the side. I think that looks really nice. So I've got my water spritzer from Stampin' Up. This is what it looks like. Um, so what I'm going to do is give this a quick spritz from afar. And like that. So I did it off camera just there on the side and a little bit more there and there let that sort of um, do its magic i'm just going to grab a tissue so i'll just do that now just getting up and doing that going around the corner and there's my tissue okay and then i'm just going to wipe that off with the tissue And I think I want to spray a little bit more. The oxide's doing its job now, I think. Let's see again. I'll spritz some on my hands. I'm just doing bigger splatters. See how that works out. Yep, yeah, much better. Oh, I like that. So that's how that looks. So the splatters are starting to show up. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my stamp positioning tool. It's the Stamparatus. I love this thing. Still works beautifully. It's a shame it's sold out now. Can't get them again unless someone's selling them second hand now. That's a shame, but it is what it is. I think it's because of the Misty Tool um, lawsuit where the inventor, so called inventor of the Misty Tool, is suing everybody because they, she doesn't want anyone else to have what was invented before anyway in my opinion but anyway i'm going to be controversial saying that but i owned the we are memory keepers or at the time it was called lifestyle crafts the what was it called the l letterpress and yeah that used a hinge and everything and there was also another designer too i think she ripped it off and she was just granted the patent she was very lucky oh this is hickory smoke so i'll, I'll put that down i did that by accident Oh, she looks beautiful even in hickory smoke, eh? But I want, it, I want her to be black soot. So I'm just going to use the black soot. Okay, let's see what happens here. Isn't she beautiful? Oh no, I love the colours. That that really speaks my language. I love it. Look at this. Gorgeous. So I think one more stamp. I want her to be really black. And she looks spectacular. Isn't she beautiful? What a beautiful fairy. Oh, I love this stamp, Connie. It's so gorgeous. This can be used for absolutely any occasion. I just love it. I'm just going to clean my stamp off here. 
and then put it off to the side so it can dry off and I'll take this away because I won't need it anymore but I'm going to bring her out again and I'm going to use some of the Forever Fern stamps yeah and I like that they're kind of like watercolor look so that goes perfect with this so I need to decide now which of these stamps I'm going to use so I'll just do a layout and see if oh that's pretty isn't it <gasps> gorgeous okay so I'll just grab my stamp oops oh, I'll use the other one that I've got close by yep that will do and I'm going to use hickory smoke for this one let's see how it works out I think I need to use uh, actually I need to use the black soot because that's just not dark enough for me so I'll just go over the top and I'll make a darker impression that's okay I look like I double stamped that but that's all right then I'll go up like that so it looks like it's on purpose and that adds a really nice uh, touch there doesn't it so I'll go one more down here so it looks like she's looking amongst the you know from the bushes sort of thing go straight up here oh just beautiful how gorgeous okay and I'll go here there and then I'll go up there like so I think that looks beautiful as is one more there and just beautiful I love that and then I'll just stamp one more time here and make sure that it looks like it's full of foliage and she's just looking out into the into the sky the night sky or like sunset or sunrise I'll just do one more stamp here and I think that looks really nice and just one more like that and I think she turned out absolutely beautiful <gasps> one of my favorites <laughs> gorgeous just gorgeous turned out better way more than I expected wipe this off didn't really want to stamp on my desk normally I'm quite careful but today not so much all right I'm just going to grab my stamp I missed oh yes much better and I'll use that then to clean off my stamp here See, these, these stamps are beautiful. I don't think I'll ever part with them. But look how lovely they look with that watercolored, like a subtle look. And it just makes them look really spectacular for this kind of um, work as well, if you're into that. I like the simple cards personally. But on occasion, I do want to work with something a little different. And it makes it more fun. I quite like that. So I'll just put it back in its spot keep it nice and um, neat and that way I don't forget where my stamps are <laughs> and lose them there's nothing worse I've lost one stamp in my lifetime and I'm pretty bummed about it I've never seen it I don't know where it's gone it probably went through the vacuum cleaner I don't know but it's all gone so I'm a bit devo about it but it was a, not a Stampin' Up! one it was a different kind of a stamp and I really like that particular one and I can't find it now so I'm a bit sad anyway let's pop these things away so I'll bring this back make sure I wipe that down so I don't get this wet again and I think that turned out beautiful so I'm just going to grab now my 
piece of white cardstock and that really makes it stand out I just love it so I'm going to grab my PVA glue one of my favorite glues to work with and I'm just going to stick it down and I try and put my glue just a little bit on the inside so if I decide that I don't want to use this card front for whatever reason and I can actually get one of my spatulas and I just go over underneath and I can rescue the card base if I'm desperate to do that but I won't this is just beautiful as is Oh, I just love this so much. And I hope you do too. This is one of my favourite cards. And look, you can add um, glitter bits and pieces if you want to. But I think it's beautiful as is. And at a later date, I will add a sentiment up here, whether I want to use it for thinking of you or happy birthday whatever you know this this can go for any occasion and I absolutely love this card and I love how clean and simple and and elegant it looks too I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have any questions at all uh, please don't hesitate to ask I'm more than happy to answer your questions and um, if you like these kinds of videos please let me know with a thumbs up and I'll continue on all right guys until next time have a lovely weekend and I'll see you around. Bye.